Hey kids, do you like animals? Do you like simulations? Do you like education? Well, you're lucky I got a perfect game for you. Today will be play slash review Sim Safari. Released back in 1998, uh, this is a game, unlike the title implies, where the goal is to build a safari. Wait, that's actually what the name implies. Anyway, we're gonna get started so you, you understand what's going on in this game. And we're actually going to play a mission. Endangered Animal Emergency. That sounds exactly what we want to do, you know? Alright, so Endangered Animal Emergency. Your zebra herds are disappearing, and no one knows why. In fact, their population has plummeted to record low levels. There are some reports that there are more predators recently and their food source have been dwindling. You need to check it out and try to fix the problem to get them on their hooves again. Be sure to check the useful information that your ecologist advisor has, such as the field guide, census and food web. Alright, so as you can see this is, this is a whole game. So uh, we're gonna have to focus our eyes on the very very tiny 640 by 480p resolution. That's really sad, but you know it's an old game, so we gotta we gotta do with that. So let's accept the mission. Oh my God, are you seeing that? It's actually a 1080p game. Wow, what the hell? Who could have what? Are you hearing that? I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. I know I need to see save these these little zebras. Who are you? How can I? What? Oh, close up view. What was that? What? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Cleaning up the genitalis? Anyway, these are the plain zebra. Let's get some information. Ah, we got 17. I don't know how many we need. Probably hundreds of thousands. But, hey, anyway, this is a oldest game that's actually 1080p, so, so I'm really surprised now. Who the hell actually made this game? What? Our menu? About Sim Sifri. What the hell is that thing? Anyway, thank you, Roxana Wolosinko. We actually designed a very good game that supports 1080p and actually we cannot move when the menu is open so that's that's one thing to consider but anyway that is very nice we actually have a very good game that's perfect but uh what is that oh we can actually we can actually put down some animals just gave me an idea to win <laughs> what oh no Roxana is smarter than I am because uh, I cannot put down zebras. Oh well. So that is our camp and as you can see it's pretty damn much empty so we need actually to not use the resources that will be too easy we actually need to build some camp stuff. So what camp stuff do we want? We actually want uh, a shower and an outhouse because you know people are, have natural needs even on safari so we'll build two of them We'll connect them with a camp path. Perfect, perfect. Looks pristine. And they're gonna need to sleep somewhere, so let's build them some uh, nice tents where they'll be able to get free malaria. Oh, 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 built one too much. Anyway, let's link these up. Uh, what else they will need? They'll need to heat. So let's build a, a picnic table. Uh, let's get them a car, you know. Ah, uh, here we go, a beautiful car. And I actually need to build a road. So I'll do that right here, build a small road, going in, going out, perfect. Who are you? Ah, blah, 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 okay, so she's the kind of girl that will actually tell you what you have to do. You need to add more tents, a laser suite, cars don't drive themselves, get a driver. Alright, alright, no problem, no problem, you evil witch. And here in the village, you can see, hmm, beautiful village. What can we do in the village? Well, nothing except talk to this guy, the village elder, 
They actually looks pretty damn mad at us. I am terribly unhappy to report that out of desperation, some villagers have been poaching in the park. Dude, why, why do you let them do that? You should kill them, man. Anyway, we, we can actually hire or lay some staff. So let's get a driver, let's get a scout, let's get uh, two attendants, let's get a cook. You know, I don't, I don't need it. But yeah, we got all these people now. I'm gonna, oh yeah, he's happy. He's pretty damn happy now, so that's pretty good. All right, so actually saving these people's lives, these poor people doomed to live in the shitty village here. I'm actually going to help them stop poaching by giving them jobs. Exactly what you need to do in real life. Okay, so let's go back in the. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Somebody's driving around the car. That's pretty cool, man. That's like so so not 1998 man. Thank you uh who are you again? Roxana Is it me or the credit music is uh creepy? Actually it's really freaking creepy, but anyway Roxana Wolosenko made a great game. What are you up to zebras? Yeah there's a lot of zebras. Oh yeah. Suck, suck, suck that milk out. 21 zebras. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. I guess we're almost completed the game now. Let's see what she is to say. We need to reach 60 in 5 years. Oh god. This, this is not an easy game. I, I'm gonna need to build love grasses. Let's build some love grasses everywhere. Love grasses, let's fill up. Let's fill up savannah with love grasses. I'm gonna make these zebra love each other, and when they'll be loving each other and having a uh, special interaction, because don't forget this is a game for kids. Well, they're gonna be able to produce massive amount of offsprings, and that is exactly what we need right now. More offsprings from the zebras, because zebras are pretty damn cool. Look, look, man, they need a dentist, too. Can we build a dentist? Uh, what is that? Birds. Birds. We can actually build birds. Ah, that's cool, man. I like birds. Okay, let's see what we can build. We can build water. No, we can build a road. So let's build a road and see what, what happened. Let's build it on the side here. Ah, uh, let's use the map. I'm too lazy to move around. Okay, let's build a road right here. And I know a little trick. That people from Safari will enter. Oh no, I ran out of money. That is not good. Not good at all. Alright, so now we're getting a lot of people, a lot of tourists in our park. Let's see what the business manager has to say. But don't forget, this is actually a review of the game. So I actually need to review the game. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty educational. You actually have to all of these things you're like oh yeah yeah okay I need I have renos I have buffaloes I have one lion I, I'm, I don't think they will survive I don't think they will forever propagate themselves if there's only one lion you know that kinds of makes sense and uh oh oh we have almost nobody working for us all right sure okay so we need one driver and we're gonna get one more attendant so let's do it all right, so we hired people, and now he's happy again. I think we're still happy, but I don't care because this is a review. This is not a real gameplay, not 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 real gameplay. So, as for the review, uh, this is pretty cool. You got to see a little village getting built up as you proceed in the game. Uh, it's kind of cool, kind of unique. You got the game in 1080p. So thank you again, Roxana Wolosenko. Ah. Oh. You gotta need more cars. Ah, okay. Oh, but we're too poor, man. Just come to the park. Come chill in the tent. Come, come snipe some people in the here, the blind, in the bunker, whatever that is supposed to be. Come take a, a shower and go in the outhouse and go eat after without washing your hand. Come do that. Give me money, and I'll be able to afford more cars for the people. Because the people want cars, and I want to make a good review, I actually need more cars. Oh, there's one more car. One more car. So let's go to the village, get one more driver, baby. One driver. And one scoot. 
is that serious? Do I have the money for that? I don't know. Probably don't. Let's actually speak with the ecologist. Uh, okay, two more years to go. Zebras having baby, that's good. What is that? Safari Smarts. Test your knowledge about the mammals, birds, and reptiles of the African savanna. You'll get two points for each right answer, but only point if you, one point if you use the ant. Uh, do I really want to do that while recording? Of course, yes! Alright. As with other raptors, the vulture female are usually found near a small, I don't think, larger than the males, probably, and able to fly. Now I'm pretty sure they can fly, so eh, larger than males. Unlike the short-legged common docker, the Thompson's castle is built for speed, not comedy. That will be, no, not fight, especially not fighting lions. Speed! I'm getting it, I'm getting scores, that's good. What do war dogs must commonly do when alarmed? Uh, run in all directions, climb tree, trot rapidly with tails held high. Well, I'm, I, I'll try that one. Oh, baby. A low ranking male baboon, male baboon can dominate a higher ranking one by uh, holding out a baboon. Fin smooth talking. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't smooth talk. They're baboons, they throw their, their poop around. So they're not smooth talking. Let's sit on him. Oh no. Holding out a baboon infant. Yeah, no, nah, that's not fair. Nobody knows that. Alright, the common duck here can go without water if I can suck on rocks. <laughs> Sounds funny, but I'm sure it's not the answer. His diet includes greens. That will make sense. Yeah, more points. What is the distance between the African buffalo horn tests? Slightly over three, three feet? Three times it's still laying about five and a half feet. I'm pretty sure it's three feet. Three feet. Yeah. Ooh, you see that? that that's some real good skill. What's the purpose of plastic pink flamingos in front of people's home? Yeah. I guess your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Is it because they put it in The Sims after? Probably, probably. Did you see that? Did, did the giraffe just split in two? That, that's how they reproduce? Wow, that's crazy. Alright, so digging up root to eat helps this animal. Survive waterless area, attract mates, come back to storm act problem. Probably survive in waterless area. After laying their eggs on the water, how does a crocodile get their hatchling to the river? Uh, carry on the back? No, in the mouth, yeah, of course, with the big teats. How long does the female, ye female yellow bill, horn bill stay old in her up in her death? What is that? Uh, sh uh, no, probably that. No, a few months. Yeah, of course. How big are her wings on this very heavy bird? Massive. No, uh, very small. Why do parent crown plover often pretend to be injured? Because they want to, to divert the predator from their youngs. How much does an African elephant eat in a day? I'd say about 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 330 pounds of food. That's that's kind of a lot. Well, I guess that's the answer. Yeah, it is. What is a martial eagle doing when preaching in tree trap? Uh, probably scanning for prey. Yeah. Like wolves, wild dogs have a role in nature to uh, remove the weak and vulnerable prey. <laughs> what do ox speakers eat? Uh, I don't know. Takes in their larvae? No, uh, monthly. What? Hey, I didn't finish a quiz. But hey, mission success. It's all back there in black and white. The zebra population is doing great and in only five years. You've earned the respect of the International Committee of Conservationists. Okay kids, so I guess uh, that will be ending the review. The very short review of what, like 6 minutes we've spent? So I'd say Roxana, Roxana whatever is your last name, did a very good game. It, it's, it's not a sim expansion of course, but it's a pretty good game. You learn a lot about the animals as we've seen. 
and uh, yeah, I recommend it to all my friends, to my family, and I want to thank my mother for all the contributions she has done. It's kind of weird to say, but this was a pretty hard moment in my life to, to do the the review of the Sims Safari game, because I used to play Sims Safari game while I was younger. It, it wasn't easy, you know? I, I didn't know a lot about the animals, so I had to, to scramble and to do the quizzes and to, to feed the animals. You know, I was trying to feed trees to the lions, so that didn't quite work well. But in the end, today I'm able to say thank you Sim Safari, because of you I've learned that uh, elephants eat 330 pounds of food per day, and uh, <laughs> because of you, Sim Safari. Now I know the very, very reason why pink flamingos are in the front yard of so many people. Because your guess is as good as mine. Now don't forget to subscribe for more awesome reviews like this one. This is SJ, thank you for watching.